Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna show you what I've been loving to eat for busy school days. I have delicious recipes that I love when I'm short on time, and today I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. For breakfast, I'm having cinnamon bun overnight oatmeal. If you don't know what overnight oatmeal is, you make this the day or the night before, and then it's ready to eat in the morning. So you want to use a mason jar or something similar because we're going to shake it all up. I'm just throwing some oatmeal in a mason jar, some cinnamon, coconut flour which gives it the consistency of cinnamon bun dough, and then some plant-based vanilla protein powder. I also add a little bit of coconut sugar for a little more sweetness. Top this all off with some almond milk or any other dairy-free milk and we're just going to shake this all up. Oatmeal is loaded with carbs, and carbs are the main source of energy your body runs off of, so oatmeal in the morning keeps you from getting tired throughout the day. Put this in the fridge overnight, or at least about 5 hours. In the morning, I quickly take a little bowl, and then I add some of that vanilla protein powder, mix it up with some almond milk, and then some cinnamon, and then I drizzle this on top. By the way, my protein powder is the Vega or the Vega, however you pronounce it, the vanilla flavored. I like lots of cinnamon, which I also get all over the counter. <laughs> and there you have it, some cinnamon bun oatmeal. Because of the consistency, it actually tastes like cinnamon bun dough which I think is even better. Before I leave, I pack some fruit and in between breakfast and lunch, I just snack on that. It's usually a couple bananas and an apple. For lunch, I like to make a quick sushi bowl that I usually make the night before or I make it in a big batch to last a couple days. So for the sauce, it's super simple. You're just going to mix together some coconut sugar, some soy sauce, and then some rice vinegar. Then I just chop up half a cucumber into cubes and then I do the same with an avocado. I love avocados because the monounsaturated fats in them are known to improve the blood and oxygen supply to your brain. This keeps your sugar levels really stable too so that you don't crave a bunch of random things throughout your day. I always have rice in my fridge, so I just warm it up and then I move it over to this container and then I top it off with the cucumber and the avocado. I love those seaweed sheets that you can get at Costco. I think you can get them just about anywhere now, but I just take some of those sheets and scrunch them on top. It really gives you that perfect seaweed taste. I would not skip out on this step. Finally, I just top this off with a few black sesame seeds and then I drizzle the sauce all over top. And there you have it, it's all ready to go. This has been my absolute favorite these days. You guys have to try it. So after lunch, I usually have a quick break and because I live a few minutes from school, I can come home and have a snack. I've been loving this avocado lime dip with some chips. It's super delicious and really quick to make. Just throw some avocado in a bowl with some vegan mayonnaise, some almond milk, and a little squeeze of lime juice on top of that. Sometimes I like to add a little garlic powder too. I love to eat this with some of my favorite chips, and then I'm ready to go back to school to my lab. If I have some extra time on my hands, this dip is amazing with french fries too.
For dinner, I'm gonna make some zucchini pasta. I'm sure you guys have seen this around, but it's honestly as amazing as it sounds. I bought a spiralizer at the beginning of the school year and it has done me well. I think I paid around $10 for it on sale and it makes my zucchini noodles in about 30 seconds. So I definitely recommend picking one up. I'll link the exact one that I have in the down bar below. It works really well. If I'm incredibly tired, I'll just grab a sauce in a jar, but if I have a little time, I like to make a homemade spaghetti sauce. Before I stopped eating meat, I loved the sauce with ground beef in it, so now instead I just replace the ground meat with lentils, and it has a very similar consistency. So all I do is cut up some tomatoes and throw some lentils in a saucepan. I then add some tomato paste, the chopped tomatoes, and tomato sauce. For seasoning, I love to add some garlic powder, Himalayan salt, rosemary, oregano, pepper, and some dried basil. I get a lot of questions about weight loss, and lentils are amazing for it. They're packed with fiber that keeps your digestive system happy, and protein that will preserve your lean muscle mass. I just mix this in with the zucchini noodles, and there you have it. I love regular pasta, but this is actually way quicker because you don't have to boil the noodles. Plus, zucchini is packed with vitamins and nutrients that will keep me going for another day at school. Since it's officially fall, after dinner I like to have some of my favorite pumpkin spice bites. I'll link the video on how to make them down below. If you guys liked these quick ideas, be sure to subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.